military style assault rifles, a term that is has no definition in this country. And if she's referring to military grade firearms that are already prohibited in this country and have been for decades, I, I don't uh, I, I don't understand the use of that term other than to confuse uh, public on the issue who may not otherwise understand the laws that we currently have in this country. So my question, Mr. Speaker, is a can she describe can can, can the um, Remember, describe what a military-style assault rifle actually is and what legislation that's being proposed will actually target gangs and gun violence perpetrated by criminals in this country, not law-abiding gun owners. The Honorable Prime Minister, Secretary, the Minister of Indigenous Services. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And, and uh, I, I will leave it to the Minister of Public Safety to bring forward any legislation. I'm not going to presuppose what he is going to bring forward. I, I would echo what my colleague, the member from Park Dial Head Park, said about moving the de the um, to the RCMP um, the the away from politicians the ability to classify rifles. Um, but I would challenge him that guns and gangs are something that our government is taking very seriously by investing in law enforcement.